Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome back. It's the end of the year. Yes, it's December 31st. I may or may not be filming this a bit, a few days early. But hey, we're in the bedroom. We're looking at a cat toy on the floor, so you know what time it is. It's time to look at some boxes. Yes, we're doing the 2018 year-end collection tour. And like usual, I am going to be doing this in several parts. Uh, the boxes, the actual figures, and then the pre-orders, and then who knows. But yes. So, yeah, we got quite a few uh, boxes this year. <laughs> Not quite as impressive as last year, I think, but it's still a lot. So, we'll start off with January. We got Neppy Nep, yes, Four Goddesses Online Purple Heart by uh, Kara Ani. And we also got the second Tamamo Swimsuit Lancer by Kotobukiya. Moving over to February, we only got one figure, and that was uh, Noir Blackheart from uh, Four Goddesses Online by Kara Ani. Uh, moving over to March, we started getting a few more. So we got Lucifer, yes, the bikini version of her. Uh, this one is by uh, Orchid Toys? Or Hobby Japan? Amakuni. Yep, see, Amakuni, right down there. Uh, yeah, from the Seven Deadly Sins. Moving up. We got Kitty Kurumi. Yes, Kitty Kurumi, I love her. She's so, so good. Uh, by uh, Karakawa. Uh, and from Day to Life. And we also got Bikini Asuna from Orca Toys. Uh, from Sword Art Online. Then moving over to April... We got a few figures. We got Kodakawa Yui from Two Over Darkness. She is wearing Yami's Darkness outfit. Oh yes. And she is by Union Creative. And we got a couple one fours. Continuing the Yui theme, we got Takamura Yui from Love Love Alternative by Freeing, a one four scale bunny. And we got a one fourth Yui Kodakawa from uh Two Lover Darkness or Two Lover. And she is a bunny by Freeing again, one fourth. And we also got Alter's version of Neppy Nep. Yes, Purple Heart. Finally, we got Purple Heart uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Took her a long time to come out. Moving over to May, we only got one again, and that was Tamamo. Yes, gotta have the Tamamo uh, from Fate Extra, Fate Excel. Uh, she, this is her Summer, summer Vacance version by Funny Nights. Technically, in June, we didn't get anything. But the June order came at the beginning of September. And we got Astasia. Uh, she's an original character by Daiti Kogyo. And we actually got the blue skin version of her, but she came in a generic box. We got White Elf from uh, IVE. Or, yeah, IVE. Another original character. No artwork of her on the box. Moving up, we got... Purple Heart, yes, another Purple Heart. This one's the Cable Management Nightmare one uh, from Hyperdimension Neptunia, and this one is manufactured by Broccoli. And we got Tamamo Cat, yes, another Tamamo. Uh, this one is uh, from Max Factory, from Fate Extra, Extella, Grand, Fate Grand Order, yes. All the Fates blend together. So that was the beginning of July. Ending of July, the actual July order, we got Yaya Tushan from En Musubi no Yoko-chan. She is by Eamon Toys, and she has a ridiculously giant box. And we started getting the Saikano girls. We got Utaha, best girl, yes, Utaha, Uta, Uta, Utaha from Saikano, uh, manufactured by Good Smile. Moving over to August. We got Jin Yan. Jin Yan, yes. Paid a lot of money for her, but I'm glad to have her. She is quite good, quite lewd. Uh, she's an original character, uh, part of the STP line by Alpha Max Skytube. Yeah, premium. Expensive. Uh, we also got Eleonora Viltaria from Madonna O Novanidis. Uh, she is manufactured by Penguin Parade. And then we got a little miniature Tamamo, yes. The Tamamo. She's kind of a trading figure in a blind box. Uh, 
I think Movic is the company that made her, and this one's from Fate Extella. Then moving over to September. Again, beginning of September, end of September. So we got Edity, Edity Sourmer Spencer, or yeah, or Edity Spencer Sourmer, uh, again from Saikano, uh, and manufactured by Good Smile. We got a Milo visiting us. Yes, say hi, Milo. Milo. Yeah, there we go. The people want to see the Milo. Anyways, we got, uh, back to this, we got Tamamo no Mai from Fate Excella in her schoolgirl version. Uh, this one is by Fat Company. Milo really wants to be in the video. Uh, we got Noir, Black Knight Noir from uh, Four Goddesses Online. Uh, this one is manufactured by Demolto Ben. We got Yamada Elf, or Emily Granger, from Ermanga Sensei. Uh, this one is manufactured by Funny Nights. And then we got Rumi Kinosta, Kinosta Rumi, from Pia Kata, whatever, Yokoso. Uh, she is uh, manufactured by Yamato. Uh, and then at the end of September, we got Megumi from Saikano, uh, Kato Megumi. She is manufactured by Good Smile Company. And we got Kitty Toka from Data Live, uh, manufactured by Katakawa. Yeah, set up with Kitty Kurumi. Uh, technically in October, nothing. But Mako was an October order that came in the beginning in November. So we have Hitachi Mako from uh, Senran Banka. And she is manufactured by Broccoli. And then, I'm counting her October, so nothing in November. And then December, we got uh, Yui Kahama Yui from Yahari Oregaru. I'm not even going to attempt to say the whole name. Uh, manufactured by Alter? No, so Soyokusha. Sorry about that. And then we got Kirika Toa Alma from uh, Shining Resonance. And she is manufactured by Alpha Max. So yeah, that's the boxes. We'll do a quick little overview again. So yeah, we got quite a few figures, quite a bit of money was spent. Quite a few packages were delivered. But yeah, that's part one of the collection tour. See you in a little bit for part two. And welcome to part two of the 2018 year-end collection tour. Woohoo! Yes, in this part we will actually be looking at the figures. Uh, several people have requested this over the past couple months, like it wasn't even a thing that it wasn't going to happen. But I think you might be disappointed because really not a whole lot has changed from last year. I've been lazy; I haven't really rearranged, but. We're going to look at the figures, <laughs> and we're going to look at Milo, too. So, we're going to start in the back this time with the Neptune Purple Heart and Iris Heart Wall Scroll from Hyperdimension Neptunia. And then we have the first of the Detolves. This is a Sunico shelf. So, uh, on top, we have Neptunes. We have Blackheart. Uh, Noir from Yon Megami Online. She is in her goddess form. She is manufactured by Karaani. Then we have Alter's version of Purple Heart. Nep, 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 nep. Yes, from Hyperdimension Neptunia. Waited a long time to get her, and she looks pretty damn good. But I think Nep looks goddamn good in white. I think this is my favorite Nep. Uh, she is from Yon Megami Online, and she's in her goddess form. And she is by Karani, and I just love her face and her hair and everything about her. So now we shall move down and be carefully opening. These Detolfs are kind of shaky, and unfortunately they don't have lights because, well, they didn't have lights when I bought these. So we have Noir from Hyperdimension Neptunia. She is my favorite non-goddess. This one is by Broccoli, and she came with the light-up crystal paperweight. 
Uh, then in the back, we have the figure that really got me into figure collecting. We have Purple Heart. Yes, Nip and Nip and Nip and Nip from Hyperdimension Neptunia. This one is by Wing. Yeah, my first pre-order. Moving over, we have Noir, a.k.a. Blackheart from Hyperdimension Neptunia. And this one is manufactured by Alter. And then we have yet another Nep and Nep and Nep. Yes, Purple Heart in her dress form. She is... So beautiful in her dress. Showing off quite a bit of uh, flesh in the chest area. Uh, and she is manufactured by Wing. Moving down now, we have a Data Life shelf. Mostly a Kurumi shelf, but Data Life. So in the back, we have Tokisaki Kurumi. This one is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises. Flawed, but beautiful. Moving over, we have Broccoli's version of Tokisaki Kurumi from Data Live. And she's got the colored tips of her hair, and she's winking at you. And then we have Alpha Max's version of her. And she's got her guns out, yes. Kurumi is a beautiful character. She is amazing to look at. Uh, over here, we have Yamai Ka Kaguya from Data Live. This one is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises. She is one of the Yamai twins. And you can't have one Yamai twin without the other one. So here we have Yamai Yuzuru. And Yuzuru is best twin. Uh, again, by uh, Griffin Enterprises. Yes. Best twin. A cutie. Uh, in this detolf, the bottom two shelves are currently empty. And that is mainly because it is behind my couch. And I can't really see those shelves very well. So, eventually they'll get stuff in them. Moving over, we have in the back a Jabril wall scroll, which goes behind the detolf. Yes, Chakro, I know you want me to move it, but I'm lazy. So, on the top, we have Kirikurumi. Yes, Tokisaki Kirikurumi. Again, a very, very, very lovely figure of this character. From Day to Live, this one is by Katakawa. Moving over, we have Kitty Toka from Data Live. Toka, in my opinion, is best spirit, but Kurumi probably has the best figures. But yes, Kitty Toka. Again, by Katakawa. She's so cute eating her little bread. And then, from Data Live, Jibril in the back, Jibril in the front. Yes, Jibril. Did I say Data Live? No. From No Game, No Life. And this one is manufactured by Fat Company. And... You can't have a No Game No Life figure without having a goddamn Shiro. Yes. So, this Jabril, I have her, you know, great, her war uh, bloody face plate with her sticking her tongue out. And the rest is from the dopey default expression. I like the book, I like the white halo, I like the face like that. So that's why she's like that. I mixed and matched. So now we shall move down, and this one is a Nishi shelf. Uh, so I'm going to come out and say this. The Seven Deadly Sins figures, they're either by Orchid Seed or Amakuni, and I can never remember which is which. So we shall start with Asmodeus, the Sin of Lust uh, from the Seven Deadly Sins. This is the recolor version of her. And I currently have her corset off because look at that belly. Yes. Uh, moving over, we have Leviathan from the Seven Deadly Sins. She is the Sin of Envy, and she's got Behemoth. Uh, moving to the front, we have Yukishiro Fuyuka. She is from Sword and Wizards, blah, 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 blah. And she is manufactured by Amakuni. And she's got the legs, she's got the chest, and she's got the booty. Yes, the booty. Moving over, we have one I have to be kind of careful of filming because YouTube. And she is the only one that technically is 18 plus because you can't cover her up. But look at that ice cream. So, yes, Asmodeus, the Kudishiri ice cream nobushi version of her. And I mean, just look at that face. I love her. She is so beautiful. And then we have. Felicia von Flamberg from Sword and Wizards, blah, 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 blah. This one is manufactured by Kotobukiya. And Felicia. 
I tried looking around before and it didn't work, but if we spin her around, yes, she has probably the best booty in my collection, or at least one of them. So Felicia. Moving down, we now have the Sin of Wrath, Satan from Seven Deadly Sins. We have the Sin of Melancholy from the Seven Deadly Sins, Esther Rote. So Esther Rote, originally I didn't like her and I wasn't going to get her. Well, I changed my mind. I decided I do like her and I was going to get her. And she looks so much better without her, her poofy shoulders. And then we have Lucifer, the Sin of Pride from the Seven Deadly Sins. Another one that I really, really like. And another one that I have removed her poofy shoulders. Poofy shoulders are not good. Moving down, we now have a Hyaka Rowan shelf. So we have Yagyu Jubei. She is from Hyaka Rowan Samurai Girls and Samurai, Samurai Bride. She is in her swimsuit and is manufactured by Alter. Then in the back, we have my second figure ever, Yagyu Jubei from Alter uh, and from the uh, Hyaka Rowan Samurai Girls. Her sword has broken off her leg, and I have never bothered to glue it back on securely. And then we have Nawe Kanansugu from Hyaka Rowan, again, by Alter. So it's also an Alter shelf. And she is just such a happy, happy girl. And likewise, the shelf is bottom shelf is empty because I can't see it. So now we shall move on to the Fate shelf, a.k.a. the Tamamo shelf, a.k.a. Heaven. But first... We have the Tamamo wall scroll. Almost life-size Tamamo. Quite beautiful. And there, my friends, is Fluffy Heaven. But first, at, on top, we have Skatak Lancer from Fate Grand Order. This one is by Plum. And mine did not come with her head broken off. She came intact. Woohoo! Moving over, we have Nero, a.k.a. Saber Bride. Nero, Saber Bride, best saber. And my only saber. Yay. She is from manufactured by Alpha Max. And then we have another Skathok, Skatitz, from Fate Grand Order. This one is manufactured by QuestQ. And in my opinion, between the two, I think the QuestQ one has the best quality and turned out the best. But they're both very good. Uh, Plum is getting a re-release, so hopefully they fix their issues. But now, let's start with Heaven. So the top shelf is the Swimsuit Tamamo shelf. So my only uh, Beach Queen is Tamamo, of course. All of these are Tamamo, so I may not just say her name over and over and over and over again, but she is by Wave. Moving over, we have the Summer Fragants version of Tamamo from uh, Funny Nights. This one, probably one of the lower quality ones, but I mean, from normal viewing distance, beautiful, love her. And then if we step back, we see there are two Lancer Tamamos from Kotobukiya. So, in the back, we have the one with all of her accessories. So she has her umbrella, which barely fits in there. She has her straw hat on. She has her Tamamo towel. And she has her wet t-shirt on. So this figure, a lot of people give it shit because of that t-shirt. But I spent some time with some hot water and managed to get it completely closed. The seams, still obvious, but they are closed. So you can do it. And if you don't like dealing with all that stuff, she looks pretty damn good without it. <laughs> That's why I have two. I wanted to have uh, one with and one without the accessories. And my God, I think this Tamamo has one of the best bodies in my collection. Nice. So, so, so good. Good boobs, good, good belly, good legs, good back. Look at that tail and look at that booty. Yes. So much of her is just the best. So, got to get the Tamamo. Moving down, we now have a shelf of non-standard Tamamo. So, we have 
uh, the Tailmade Strike version of her. This one is by Union Creative. Gotta love it. I mean, it's frickin' Tamamo in a frickin' maid outfit. And look at that tail. Look at that face. Moving over, we have Tamamo Cat. She is by Max Factory. Quite lovely. She has absolutely amazing hair. Moving down, we have Schoolgirl Tamamo. This one is by Fat Company, my biggest Tamamo at 1 6 scale. Uh, she is currently not on her base, Tamamo Cat is, because she just didn't fit. But quite cute. And then, the absolute favorite figure in my entire collection, we have Casual Tamamo. This one is by Flair. Love her. Uh, I mean, everything just perfect. Moving down, we have Tamamo in her standard outfit, and I am almost falling over, so it's quite an awkward position to be in. Uh, this one is a prize figure. Uh, she is by Sega. And for a prize figure, she's decent quality, not the best, but it's Tamamo. Gotta have her. We have a little tiny Tamamo trading figure keychain by Movic. We have my only Nendroid, Tamamo, by Good Smile Company, and my only Figma, Tamamo, by Max Factory. And the only reason I have those is Tamamo. And then we have Fat's version of Tamamo in her normal outfit. Moving down the shelf, we now have Tamamo in her black outfit. So we have Fat's version of Tamamo in her black wizard outfit. We have Broccoli's version of Tamamo in her black wizard outfit. I did not get the bonus faceplate for her. And then we have another Sega prize figure of Tamamo in her black outfit. And I think this one is probably better quality. So yeah. Stand back up. And that, my friends, is Fluff Heaven. Gotta love it. One last look. So I see this is getting a little bit long and I'm worried about uh, running into time limits, so I'm gonna recycle the recording. And we are back. That, that's just a precaution. So now we shall move on to the main bulk of the collection. Yes, more Tamamo. And more Milo. Uh, we'll start over here with my Tamamo Dakimakura. Yes. Tamamo body pillow. And if we flip her over. Bikini Tamamo body pillow. Woohoo. Yes. Uh, over here we have Milo. A 1-1 one, one scale life-size animatronic figure. They did a good job on him. We have a Tamamo mat. And a Nubby Nub mat. Mouse pad. So yay. Milo. Nice, nice uh, wallpapers. And now, the main bulk of the collection. As I said, it's mostly stayed the same, but hey. Oh well. So we have a new addition to the collection. We have Yui Kahama Yui from Yahari Station Love Comedy Wa Machigata, or whatever it is, on Oregaru. Uh, she is manufactured by Shoyokusha. And another new addition, we have Kirika Toa Alma from Shining Resonance. She is manufactured by Alpha Max, and she's in her bikini. Yes. This is the red version of her. I think she looks good in red. Moving over, we have Kinoshita Rumi from Pia Carrot Yokoso or whatever. Uh, she is manufactured by Yamato. This is an older figure, and I will, I'm so glad I picked this one up. I absolutely love her. She's love her. Moving over, we have Izumi from Queen's Blade. This one is manufactured by Alter. No. I forget who she's manufactured by. I should know this. I really should. But, oh well. Uh, moving over, we have Orchid's, Orchid Toys version of Asuna Yuki from Sword Art Online. She is in her swimsuit. Moving over from Kotobukiya uh, and from Senran... Or, I don't know. I am sorry. I am having major, major brain farts. Uh, we have Irahi. Iroha Hime 
Uh, yeah, I can't think of it. It's it's center on or yeah, center on something. Oh well. Moving over, we have Bikini Lucifer from the Seven Deadly Sins. This one, I believe, is by Amakuni. Uh, we have Charlotte Ferrier from uh, Shirohime Quest, and she is by Kotobukiya. Moving over, we have Hitachi Mako from Senran Banka. This one is by Broccoli, and I love this figure. I'm so happy I got her. You should buy her. Moving over, we now have some uh, plastic acrylic standees. We have, obviously, all Tamamos. So we got Swimsuit Tamamo, we got Lingerie Tamamo, and we got Evening Gown Tamamo. Woohoo! And then we have my second casual Tamamo, still in her box, pristine. She normally lives in my bedroom watching over me as I sleep. So yeah, that's the top shelf of figures. Still can't remember what she's from. Oh well. So we shall now look at the decals. So we have Shinonono Hoki, a 1 4 scale figure by Fri Yang. She is from Infinite Stratos and is in her Kitsune Miko outfit. We have Tamayori Hime from. Uh, Tamayori Hime from Blue Cross. And she is by. I think she's by Amikuni. Oh well. And then from Stronger, we have Sento Isuzu. She is from uh, Amagi Brilliant Park. Moving down, we have Lifa from Sword Art Online. She is manufactured by Kotobukiya, the fair dance version of her. We have Velvet Patros from uh, Shining Arc. And she is manufactured by Alpha Max. And she's a pirate in a bikini. We have Asna Yuki by Kotobukiya from Sword Art Online. Uh, from Shining Residence, we have Rhea Mayfield and Fromage. And she is manufactured by Kotobukiya. And also by Kotobukiya from Shining Hearts, we have Neris Filium. She's got some bread, yes. And the bread is handing her dismembered hand. <laughs> Moving down, we have a pink hair, mostly Sonico shelf. So yes, we have Super Sonico from Super Sonico. This one is by Shoyokusha, the after the party version. We have the Macaroon Tower version of Super Sonico with the Macaroon Tower and the Macaroon and the swimsuit. And we have Jogasaki Mika from Idol Master, Cinderella Girls, Idol Master at least. Uh, and she is manufactured by Wave. Now moving down, we have Alyssa Ilanichina Amiella. She is from God Eater 2, and she is manufactured by a company I can't think of right now, Plum. Uh, we have Shiemi Ishibai. She's an original character based off of Kalane Ka, and she is manufactured by Union Creative. And then we have Eleanor Viltaria from Madan no Nobanadis. And she is manufactured by Penguin Parade. Standing up and moving over. We now have Takao from Ars Nova, a arpeggio of blue steel. Uh, she is manufactured by Quest Q. Quite beautiful. We have Shirashiki Tatanashi, another 1-4 scale from Freeing and manufactured by Infinite Stratos. She's manufactured by Freeing and is from Infinite Stratos. And yes, Freeing can make 1-4s that are not bunnies. We have Yuzuki Kana. She's an original character manufactured by Skytube. She's got a beautiful face and beautiful hair. And she's just had some fun. We have uh, Black Hanakawa, Hanakawa Tsubasa. She is from Bakemonogatari, and she is manufactured by Alter. Yes, quite, quite beautiful. And then we have Yagami Surugi from uh, Sesame Gun Butter Nai. She is manufactured by Max Factory. She's playing her video game all cute and happy. Moving down, we have Aizu Wakamatsu from... Uh, 
Uh, bah, bah, bah. I forget. Um, the Castle Girl one, like Conkle, but Castle Girls. Uh, and she is manufactured by New Vision Toys. I should... Shirohime Quest, I think. Uh, we have Battle Maiden Navi from Lord of Valkyrie. She is manufactured by Aquamarine. And she's got a bird friend that I don't know his name. We have Sansei Muramasa, the white race queen version of her from Sansei Muramasa, or Full Metal Damon Muramasa. Uh, we have Airi Kashi from um, Rokubu. She is manufactured by Plum. And remember Felicia? Well, Idy puts up a good fight. <laughs> Quite a lovely, lovely booty on her. Moving over, we have uh, Tomokami Nato from Rokubu, again by Plum. And again, quite the nice booty on her. We have an Australia and Ikaros minifigure that are accessories for the nymph figure down there. Uh, we have Sansei Muramasa from Full Metal Damon Muramasa. She is manufactured by... I forget. Wing? Uh, I gotta sit down. Uh, next we have Mistral Nereus, or Misty, from Shining Hearts. She is manufactured by Yamato. We have Eris. Eris from Asobi ni Ikkyo. She is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises. We have Stardust from Vocaloid 4. She is manufactured by Maithos. Not a lot on MFC. And then we have Kitika Toa Alma. She is from Shining Resonance. This is the Akayo, the red version of her. Uh, this one is manufactured by Kotobukiya. A good quality Kotobukiya. Moving down, we have Ignis from Chaos Gate, I think. Jingai Makyo. Uh, she is manufactured by Max Factory. We have Hatsune Miku, Racing Miku 2013 by Good Smile Racing Company. We have Lucy Hartfilia from Fairy Tail, another Good Smile figure. So that is that detolf. Try to scan back up. Squatting is not very comfortable. So now we shall move over to the next detolf. And we have another Lucy Harfilia. This one is the White Cat Gravier style version of her from Orca Toys. And she is from Fairy Tale. We have Percy Purse, yes. Percival, she is from AU Senki Gold. She's a 1-4 scale bunny by Freeing. Uh, we have Best Boat Harda from Kantai Collection in her swimsuit version. And an Ichiban Kuji prize figure. Quite a nice one. And then we have another Percival. This one is by QuestQ from AU Senki Gold. Um, moving to the front, we have Rurika. She's an original character and is manufactured by Flair. Quite the cutie and quite the busty girl. We have Sakurahina, an original character, manufactured by SkyTube, Alpha Max. And, oh yeah, she gets lewd. She had some fun, but she's not so sure about it. <laughs> and then we have Usami Mizugi. She is another original character and is manufactured by QuestQ. And she is a tiny bunny. Moving down, we have Tart from Shining Tears of Tiara. Uh, and she is manufactured by Vertex, I think. In the back, we have Akano Himejima from High School DXD. She is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises Grand Toy. She is soft-bodied. She is squishy. And then we have Sento Isuzu again, and this time Muffle. They are from Amagi Brilliant Park. This one is manufactured by Alter. Moving down, we have Mishima Haruna. She is a mascot character from Chunitham Video Games. Uh, she is manufactured by Alpha Max, I think. 
We have Rory Mercury, the demigoddess herself from Gate. She is manufactured by Kotobukiya. And we have Oncidium from Flower Night Girl. And she is manufactured by Plum. Love her. Moving down, we have Tanashima Poplar from Working. And she is manufactured by Alter. We have my first figure ever, Kawashima Ami from Toradora. And she is manufactured by Kospa Rezunya. And then we have uh, Aludra from Chain Chronicle. And she is manufactured by Alpha Max. Stand back up and moving over. Try to close that gently. We have Luxuria. She is from ZX Zillions of Enemy X. And she is manufactured by Broccoli. And since the day I bought her, I said you should buy her, and I still stand by that. Another one you should buy, if you have the money for it, is Jin Yan. She's an original character based off of old, old, old stories. And she is manufactured by Skytube. And she uh, gets very not safe for work if you decide to display her like that. <laughs> then we have Ryuzu from uh, Clockwork Planet. She is manufactured by Kotobukiya. Again, Kotobukiya quality, but I really love her. And if you like Ryuzu, you should buy her. Moving down, we have a Kantai Collection shelf. So we have Shimikaze from Good Smile Company and Shimikaze from Fat Company, the Medichu. We have the Woe Class of Medichu, or the Medichu of Woe Class by Fat Company, the Medichu of Haruna by Fat Company, and the scale figure of Haruna Kai by Amakuni, I think. And then we have Yamato from uh, Contact Collection. This one is by Good Smile Ma Max Factory and is the wonderful hobby collection version of her. Uh, their ship parts are in the back because they just don't fit. We have Yamato's Medichu by Fat and Congo's Medichu by Fat and Congo by Max Factory. Half damage version. Moving down, we have Rhea Stremory from High School DXD, manufactured by Griffin, and she is soft bust. We have Charlotte Dunois from Infinite Stratos, again manufactured by Griffin Enterprises, the Yume no Naka no Maid version of her. We have Nish Maki from uh, Love Live. Shikino Maki? I, I don't know. Uh, she is manufactured by Alter. We have Himikawa Hayuru from uh, Masogaku and HXH. She is manufactured by Alpha Max Skytube. We have Shinono no Hoki from Infinite Stratos, manufactured by Wave. And we have Asuka from Senran Kagura, manufactured by Alter. Sorry for the shaky, I'm my feet are hurting. Moving down, we have Plug Cryostat from Juden Chan, Fight Epots Juden Chan, and she is manufactured by Kotobukiya. We have Astachia, an original character, a succubus, a one fifth scale figure, and she is manufactured by Daiki Kogyo. And then we have Yaya from Unbreakable Machine Doll, she is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises. So that is that detail. Stand back up carefully. And now we are on to the last detail. So we have Meth Meta. Yes, Mephi 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 Meth from uh, Dungeon Travelers 2. She is manufactured by Alter. We have Asterote from. Shinra Bancho Chocolate. She is manufactured by Mega House. We have Kier Satan Arcana from Shinra Bancho. Again, manufactured by Mega House. We have Asmodeus from Shinra Bancho Chocolate. Again, manufactured by Mega House. We have Best Monster Mia from Monster Musume no Iro Nishijo, manufactured by Demoto Ben. 
And then we have Yekman Congo Cube Izuna from Shinrabancho. Again, manufactured by Mega House. And look at that fluff. Moving down, we have a Rage of Bahamut shelf. We have Vanya, uh, manufactured by Kotobukiya, Little Queen Vanya. We have Forte, manufactured by Kotobukiya. And then we have a little mini UL, manufactured by some company I don't know. Moving down, we have Shinonono Hoki. She is from Gift and from Infinite Stratos. Also from Gift and Infinite Stratos, we have Charlotte Denois. And then we have Rinka Kunitachi from Who is Emoto. Can't remember the Japanese name off the top of my head. And she is manufactured by Freeing. What's that? Freeing doesn't always do 1 4 scale figures. We have another Charlotte Denois. This one's by Alpha Max. And we have Amil Manaflare from Shining Hearts. She's in her bikini, and she is manufactured by Kotobukiya. And then at the bottom, oh, almost forgot, we have Astrea from Sorina Otishimono, manufactured by Skytube. On the bottom, we have Nymph from Sorina Otishimono, manufactured by Kotobukiya. She's the one that the Ikaros and Astrea minifigures were from. And we have Leon Michel Galette de Raw from Dog Days, manufactured by Good Smile Company. And we are done with the Detolfs, but we're not done. Uh, down the hallway, uh, hanging off the thermostat, we have the little mini wall scroll of Luxuria. But if we come back over here and look at some wallpapers, And then we go down onto the TV stand. We have some more figures. So we have Takamura Yui, a 1 4 scale bunny from Freeing. She is from Move Love Alternative. We have yet another Neppy 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 Nep. This one is from Broccoli. Uh, she's from Hyper Dimension Neptunia. And she's having a hell of a time managing some cables. We have. Dark Knight Noir from Yo Megami Online. And she is by Demolto Ben. I was very worried for this figure, but I got a good deal on her. And I am so glad I got her. She is lovely. We have Yaya Tushan from uh, En Musube no Yoko-chan. This one is by Eamon Toys. Another one that I really, really love. I think she turned out very beautifully. And then we have Kodagawa Yui from To Love Ru. And she is a 1-4 scale bunny by Freeing. Moving over, we now have Utaha Best Girl from uh, Saikano. She is manufactured by Good Smile Company. That, another part of the set is Edity Spencer Samamura from Saikano, manufactured by Good Smile Company. And closing out the set, we have the Mid Carter, Megumi Kato uh, from Saikano, again by Good Smile Company. Moving over, now we have Yamada Elf from Eromanga Sensei. Again, best girl by Funny Nights. And I think she turned out perfectly. I love her. She is so beautiful. We have another Kodagawa Yui. This time it is Darkness Yui. She is by Union Creative and is from To Love Her Darkness. She is wearing Yami's Darkness outfit. And, oh yes, looks quite good on her. And then, closing out the tour... We have White Elf, an original character by Yapo and manufactured by IVE. So, yay. That's a lot of freaking figures. Let me stand back up. And we'll just do a quick little spin around. Sorry for the not best of lighting, but it is crappy weather outside. So that is the collection tour of all my figures as of today, the end of 2018. Maybe not necessarily the absolute end. But yeah, stay tuned. We shall start on part three, the pre-orders, in a moment. 
and welcome back to part three of the 2018 year-end collection tour. This is the part where we shall look at what figures I have pre-ordered for 2019, and there's quite a few of them already, so let's get to it. The first one is Ayanami. She is from Azure Lane, and she is manufactured by Polkra. She's a 1-7 scale figure, and she is supposed to come out in January. Hopefully she does. She was supposed to come out this month, but she got delayed. I was going back and forth on her, and I finally ultimately decided I want her, so I'm getting her. Uh, she'll be my first Polkra figure, so I am a little worried. Hopefully she turns out good. It does seem like their new stuff is being okay. So the next figure I have ordered, which I just ordered yesterday, <laughs> it is Chunmei. Uh, she's an original character and is being manufactured by Alpha Max and, or I should say, SkyTube. Uh, and if I say this one line, you'll know what it's about. This one time at Bandcamp, yeah, she's got flutes. Yes, so this is an adult figure. She is part of the set with uh, Jin Leon and Ping Mei. I don't like Ping Mei, probably won't get her, but. Nippon Yasan pulled a thing where they moved her release date up two months to make everyone pay and then pushed her back to February. And a lot of people canceled because of that. And I took the opportunity to order her. <laughs> While she's still cheap, I'm sure she's going to be quite expensive. Uh, moving on to March, we have another one that was supposed to release in December. We have Mephmera from Dungeon Travelers 2. Uh, and this one is manufactured by Flair. Yes, Mephi, 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 Meph. Yeah, I'm um, sad she got delayed, but it worked out for the best. Uh, also in March, we have what was supposed to be my first Polkra figure. We have Mepinep. Yes, Purple Heart in her dress. The Adaki Makura version of her. So she uh, looks pretty drunk, <laughs> and she is having some wardrobe malfunctions. But hey, it's Nep. Gotta have the Nep. Uh, she is supposed to come out in March by Polker. So we'll see how she turns out. I'm kind of hoping I can hang this one on a wall. And then, rounding out March, we have another Hyperdimension Neptune figure in a dress. We have Blackheart Noir. Uh, this one is by Union Creative. So yeah, I'm liking my dress naps. <laughs> my goddesses. Gotta love them. So yay. So now, moving on to April, but probably May for this one. Uh, this is Annette. She is from Fantasy Star Online 2. Yes. She is being manufactured by Amakuni. And this one, I wasn't gonna get her. And I kind of thought she looked strange. Her rib cage is very, very defined. And it kept bringing me back to her to look at that. And as the more I looked at her, the more I liked her. So I ultimately decided to go ahead and buy her. So yay. Uh, also in April, we have Kaga from Azure Lane. Uh, she's part of the set with Akagi. Uh, she is manufactured by Kotobukiya. Again, Kotobukiya is pulling their stupid stunt of a store-exclusive bonus faceplate that you have to order from the Kotobukiya store in Japan, and that requires proxies and everything, and I ain't playing that game, so I'm not getting the bonus face. But, gotta have Kaga, because you gotta have a Kagi, the fluffy tails. Still haven't gotten Kaga in the game. I hope I will have her by the time this figure comes out. So now, uh, moving on to May, officially May, we have uh, Usada Yura, or Usada Yu. Uh, she's another original character. She is being manufactured by SkyTube Alpha Max, and she's cast off, oh yeah, but she just catches my eye and I had to have her. There was no doubt I had to have her. Quite a cutie. Uh, then, in June, we have nothing. Boo. I doubt it's going to stay like that, but right now, there's nothing in June. Moving on to July, we have Jogasaki Mika. 
the glowy, glorious glow version of her. Yes, Lingerie Mika. Uh, she is from Idolmaster Cinderella Girls and is manufactured by Fat Company. So that means she'll probably come out in November. Or December. <laughs> but yeah. Gotta have... Gotta love Mika, 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 Mika. And then, I have one more pre-order for the year. And I have been waiting for this figure for so long. You've seen her in every collection tour video I've done, I think, as a hopeful. We are finally, finally getting the UL. Yes, UL from Grand Blue Fantasy. <laughs> And she is being manufactured by Fat Company. She already has a release date of August 31st of 2019. And I so hope that they meet that deadline for once. Because I am sick of waiting for you all. You all, come home now. She's going to be my freaking most expensive figure. But she's already paid for. They pulled this stupid, stupid in-store... Lawson store exclusive. But luckily, Big in Japan managed to get some and put her up for order. So, got her from there. So yeah, that's my pre-orders. Quite a bit. But hey, it's a whole year. Gotta have the figures, gotta have the pretties. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, collection tour. It's the end of year 2018 collection tour. It's been a pretty crappy year, but we got some very beautiful, pretty plastic. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next year. Bye-bye. And you thought we were done. <laughs> One last haul for the year has decided to show up on my door today. So yeah, it's time to unbox it. Woohoo, yeah. But something appears to be missing. There's no box. Well, that's odd. Well, let's go take a little walk. Those are just empty boxes, so we don't really care about those. But yeah, we go into the living room. And we see some standard uh, details with some very pretty Tom Mo's and everything. And your uh, standard Tom Mo wall scroll. And a box. Yes, obviously this will not fit on my table. I can't believe it. I never ever thought I would get an Amiami coffin. Corner is a little beat up and feels a little damp. But just to uh, give you guys an idea of the size, slide it over to a detolf. And, I mean, it takes up, basically, it's three... D yeah, three detolf shelves high. Holy hell. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's uh, try to get this into the unboxing area somehow. It's obviously going to have to sit on the floor. Just squeeze through here and set it down. I'm going to set you guys down for a second so I can tilt this down that we can get it open. Holy hell. Yeah, that is a big, giant box. A uh, figure of floor tiles about a foot long, so one, two, three, almost four feet long. Holy hell. <laughs> Never in my life did I think I would get an Ami Ami coffin. So, let me grab my knife. And kind of position you off to the side and tilt down so we can see this baby being opened. I was hoping and hoping that this would get here in time for the end of the year, and it did. I was afraid that the uh, U.S. government shutdown was going to affect it, but luckily customs stayed open and it didn't spend too long in there. So to start off with, we have the Ami Ami thank you card. Very cute Amiko and Lilico in their little Christmas outfits. And hmm, Lilico is busty, showing off quite the bit, quite the cleavage. On the back, nice little happy Santa girl on the present. 
So, I wonder how much of this is paper. I knew it was going to be big because there's some big boxes in here. There's five figures. And some of them have pretty giant boxes, but this is a freaking... Maybe it's not a coffin, but it is the biggest box I have ever received. So there's paper, and paper, and paper. Wow! It's necessary! Yeah, we got the five figures. Three big giant boxes, two smaller boxes. We got a keychain. Okay. So let me put you guys back down and we'll bring one at a time up here for you. Get myself repositioned, get my notes out. Because there's no way I'm going to remember all the information for five figures. I do want to say this box cost me $113.29 to ship. The only option I had was EMS, not even DHL. But yes, it cost me more to ship this box than one of these figures in here. So that's a lot. Okay, so the first one we want to pull out is this one. Get her angled. <laughs> she is cu a cutie, that is for sure. Maybe bring this a little closer and put her down. And there we go. We have Ashikaga Chachamaru. She is from Soko Aki Muramasa, or Full Metal Damon Muramasa. Uh, Chachamaru is a 1 7 scale figure and she is manufactured by Alter. And holy hell, Alter, who is known as later because they always delay everything, got her out on time. Actually, they even got her out early in the month she was supposed to come out in. Uh, she was released on December 5th of 2018. I ordered her back on April 7th of 2018. Uh, paid for her on the 21st of December. She shipped out on Christmas Eve, December 24th, and just got here today, the 28th. You may uh, be seeing this video a little bit late, because I've got plans. Uh, and for Chachamaru, I paid uh, 12,960 yen, or $120.44. And she is just a dang cutie. So there she is from the front. Tilt her a little bit so we can kind of get some light on her. There's the side of her box. There is her Chachamaru from the back. And from the other side. And she's kind of standing with her butt toward you, twisting around, showing you her face. So, she's cute. Uh, there is the top of Chachamaru's box. And the bottom of Chachamaru's box. So, yay. Uh, let's see, where can I even put these figures as I'm working on? So there's that one. So the next one is in a big, big, giant box. When I saw the picture for it, I was like, holy hell. Okay, and as I'm looking, I do believe that this box is larger than it needs to be in at least one dimension, but in the others, it looks okay. We have Akagi. Big giant box. Uh, let's see. First of all, I'm going to take her out of the plastic bag. So we can get a better view of her. So there's that. Uh, maybe push her back a little bit so I have to really reach. And then move you guys back towards me and tilt up. Try to get it all in frame. So yes, this is Akagi. She is from Azure Lane. I actually finally got her. Still trying to get Kaga. Uh, Akagi is a 1-7 scale figure. She is manufactured by Kotobukiya. She was released on December 17th of 2018. On time. Uh, I ordered her on September 15th of 2018. And we'll detect a theme. I paid for her on the 21st of December. She shipped out on Christmas Eve and got here today. And for Akagi, I paid 14,330 yen, or $133.18. Uh, so Kotobukiya did screw us all over by making... She does have a bonus face. I did not get the bonus face. You had to order directly from 
Kotobukiya Japan. And to do that, you have to use proxies and all this stuff, and I wasn't playing that game. So I just got her with the normal face. It's a shame because the bonus face does look better, in my opinion. Uh, there she is from the side. A nice big zoomed-in picture of Akagi. There she is from the back. You got all sorts of nice little pictures of her. And there is the artwork that she is based off of. And back to the front. No, back to the back so we can tilt her down and show you the top. And the bottom of her box. And this is a big giant box. This is one of the reasons the coffin is so large. Uh, okay, let's pull her off to the side. Oh. Try to maneuver things around. Holy hell. Okay, so next we have another one. So this one has a little bonus accessory that cost me a, you know, a, hun a 350 yen extra. We have a little keychain of Hamuman. Yes, Hamaman. The cat girl boat herself. She is here. Yes, Hamaman Kai. Another one that I do have in game and I've retrofitted her to get this outfit. So let's uh, get her out of the plastic bag so we can see her. There we go. And she's not quite as large of a box so we can move her closer. So yes, this is Hamuman, uh, the cat girl boat. Uh, she is in her retrofitted form, Kai. Uh, she is from Azure Lane. She is a 1 7 scale figure and is manufactured by Plum. Uh, Hamuman was released, well, I should say re released on December 19th of 2018. Uh, she was or originally released uh, July 27th of 2018, so they didn't wait very long before they re released this one. Uh, I ordered her on October 30th of 2018, and the theme, paid on the 21st, shipped on the 24th. Uh, for Hamaman, I paid 14,850 yen. That's counting the keychain, so just for her alone, it was 14,500 yen. Uh, total, it was $138.01. And remember, keychain. So there's Hamaman from the front. And you gotta treat her right. Don't don't lewd the lowly because she will call the cops on you. There is the side of her. There is the back of her. And the other side. There's the top of Hamaman's box with the Eagle Union logo. And there is the bottom of the box. So yay. Love Hamaman. She's love her character. Oh, hell. Put her on the other side behind me. So the next one is the, a figure that I've waited the longest for, literally. Another big giant box. Uh, so this one was supposed to be, in, be out in October. But, you know, it's Good Smile Company. And a year-long pre-order wait is not long enough. But she is finally here. We have a Zeta. Yes. Uh, yeah. This is Izeta. She is from Shumats no Izeta, or Izeta the Last Witch. Uh, she is a 1 7 scale figure and is manufactured by Good Smile Company. Uh, she was released on the 20th of December of 2018, the last figure in this haul to be released. Uh, yeah. I ordered her. November 2nd of 2017. So it's basically been 14 frickin' months before I got this figure. Uh, yeah. Long wait. Uh, paid for her on the 21st, and she shipped out on Christmas Eve. Uh, and I paid... One of the good things about Good Smile is they're reasonable. I paid 11,620 yen, or $107.99. This is the figure that cost less than the shipping for this whole haul. But yeah, there is Izeta from the front. There she is from the side. And the back showing all the glamour shots. And from the other side. 
We'll tilt her down and show you Zeta from the top. And spin around and the bo bottom of Zeta's box with just her name and a little bit of warnings and attentions and everything. So yay. Try to figure out how to put her down again. So this last figure is one that you don't know about. She was a very last minute order and I haven't really talked about her much, but because Meth Mary got delayed, I had to have another figure. And this one, I've been thinking about for a while. I want you to guess. Well, you don't really have time to guess. We have Alyssa Rainford. I know nothing about this character. I know nothing about the game that she's from. All I know is she's a cutie and she's in a swimsuit. And I liked her. I kept trying to talk myself out of buying her. But you know what? I like her. So I got her. Uh, this is, flip my notes over, Alyssa Rainford. She is from Eiyu Densetsu Sen no Kiseki 2. Uh, she is a non-scale figure by Union Creative. Uh, looking at her, looks to be a one-seventh or so. So this is kind of a one-seventh scale haul. <laughs> uh, Alyssa was released on September 28th of 2018. I waited and waited and finally got her. Ordered her on the 21st of 2018, of December of 2018. Paid for her the same day. And she shipped out on the 24th. Uh, for Alyssa, I paid 13,824 yen, or $128.47. And like I said, I don't know anything about her, except she's cute. I kept looking at her, kept liking her, kept talking myself out of buying her. But you know what? Screw it, it's Christmas. There's the side of her box. And there is the back of her box. And the other side of her box. There is the top of her box, and a pretty boring bottom, but yes. Ah, <sighs> and this is finally the end of the coffin. Let's see, how the hell am I even going to get all these up here? <laughs> put that off to the side, put my notes off to the side. Grab this box. Try not to drop her. Grab this box, try not to drop her, stack them, grab Kagi, and grab Chechamaru. There we go, nice stacks. So yeah, it's not all going to fit in frame, so we will uh, go ahead and lift the, lift the phone up and everything. So. There's, there's the final haul of 2018, kinda. There we go. Get everything in there. I am in a very funky position. It is not comfortable. But, yes. We got two Azure Lanes. We got Izetta. We got Alyssa. And we got Chachamaru. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. It's going to be held on boxies, but it's also going to be heaven. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Finally. Bye-bye. See you next year.